Hey YouTube, back again, decided to try another knot video, had a little fun doing my last one. I'm going to show you today how to tie a painter's hitch and a high post hitch. These are both slip knots you where you would tie the end of your rope off and then very easily and quickly be able to just grab them and go. Now what got me to do this one here is I filled in for another captain the other day on a, another vessel and this captain uh, was pretty particular with his crew about where he wanted them to tie their fenders. Of course you don't leave your fenders overboard when you're sailing and he wanted them up against the back of the wheelhouse except when they loaded the boat when we loaded the boat these had to be moved so I noticed the guys would come along grab them take them and go. They made a little bit of a show about it. They liked doing it in front of uh, other people when we went to offload so it was pretty neat and then uh, they'd take them and tie them back against one of the stacks and then bring them back up when we were all unloaded and tie them up to the back of the wheelhouse. And one of them asked me do you have to tie that knot? And I said yeah. Which is kind of, kind of unknown. A lot of people don't use it. It's not uh, really a knot that you would use for anything but in this case it worked quite well just to hold up a, a fender a couple feet in diameter I guess so it worked well for this situation anyway I said yeah I did I said I know another one kind of like it so I showed him the high post hitch come around and tuck your bitter end up through like that. So, the painter hitch. The painter hitch, Ashley's book of knots, the Bible of knots, of course, calls it also, the calls it the uh, robber's hitch. Robber's hitch or the highwayman's hitch. Because when you want to get your horse untied in a hurry, you just grab it and go. The robber would run out of the bank, I suppose. And, grab it and go with his horse. Anyway, what you'll tie is you'll grab the bite of the rope, which is uh, the middle of the rope, it's being your working end and your bitter end, and you'll pull this up. You can you can do it over top or underneath. I find it a little easier to do it over top. And you'll take the uh, a bite from your standing part and pull it up through. You'll have it like that. And you'll still have your bitter end here. So you'll take your bitter end, come up through, and then work it down tight, nice and even like that. So I say these guys were just hanging a, a boat fender off it. And it worked quite suitable for that. Right? But but uh, really this knot isn't very secure in the fact that you could probably grab that So, you take your, the, the bite of the rope underneath, you take a bite from your working, working end up through, and then you take your bitter end, you take a bite from that, and you come up through there again, and then pull it tight. Now, if a person actually wanted to make that tougher, or stronger, the stronger not, you take your standing part again, bite up through, and then take your bitter end again, bite up through. And that right there, honestly, is is pretty strong. You'd probably trust that for something, as opposed to the standard one. The standard one being that. Right? Really not very strong to, to trust telling your dog to. Well, maybe a poodle or something, but not a great Dane, right? So, And uh, if you're going to make it stronger, like I showed you,
by going like this. It's just as easy to tie a, a real knot, like a round turn and two half hitches, right? So, so anyway, to continue with my story, the, uh, the boys noticed me kind of looking at them when they did it, and one of them asked me, do you know how to tie that knot? I said, yes, I do. I've got another one for you. So I showed them the high post hitch, which is start the same way. You take the bite, bite of your rope, up underneath, bring it down on the right hand side. I'll show you this the way I've been tying it. You bring it down on the right hand side, underneath, and then open it up and pull these two here and through it. So you can put your finger right there. Then you take a bite from your bitter end and tuck that bite right up where your finger was. This knot takes a little bit to work up. Sometimes you get a, a loose uh, rope on the back here. But once you get it worked up, this knot here is actually fairly strong. And it comes off. It comes off just as easy. Up underneath with your bite underneath spread it open and pull these two up through Then take a bite from your better end over right where your finger is and then just uh, just work it till it's tight you see what I mean you might have loose but if you if you work it, you can get it up tight. The high post hitch. What they show in Ashley's book of knots about this is you'd have both running back to your boat. This would be up on the wharf or pier, and you'd be way down here in your boat with both ends. So when you wanted to leave, you didn't have to climb up the wharf. You just grab this, undo your knot, pull the whole rope back in the in the boat. So let's recount for the painter's hitch. Grab your bite up underneath. Grab a bite from your standing part up underneath. Grab a bite from your bitter end up underneath. And then just tighten it up. Keep everything nice and even. Actually, kind of a pretty knot. And what they were using it for, like if you wanted to hang something up, any garden tools or stuff like that. I mean, that's that's kind of neat. Plus, kind of cool when you can just pull it and, and go. For tying anything serious up, I, I wouldn't use it, but it's it's a cool knot. The high post hitch underneath on the right. And when you come up, spread it open. Grab these two. Pull them up through. Then take a bite from your bitter end. Right where your finger was. Just like that. A lot of people don't know this one. More so than the painter hitch. The company I work for, uh, a few guys know the painter hitch, so let's, they'll show it. More to, more to brag. They kind of, do you know this knot? But almost no one knows this one. So there we go. Hope you liked it. Hope you can tie it. I'm going to do some more, maybe some splicing vids and splicing and uh, clove hits, some other knots. So, thank you. We'll talk to you later.